<laughs> Ready? Whether he is or not, he's gonna look like it with that eyebrow lift. <laughs> 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 this constant is this shock. fun, Frank? Is this fun? Listen to the sound. Time for breakfast. And then some work and some more work on my van. a little bit of a dump in there because I've been trying to dry wood. Hopefully this will stop all of this leaking because this is going to rot really fast. If. I mean I'm going to replace these doors anyway because this is just not a good design. But this will help. done this job before all of the pouring rain but never mind this is kind of nice today yeah might be nice tomorrow too I want to wipe just above the hinge there yeah you and um that stuff's not super great for your skin so you maybe want to rinse off okay. my skin is kind of leathery but is it like just plain alcohol or is it uh it's lacquer thinner so oh. it's kind of like a paint thinner so yeah it's really yeah, okay. great for skin I do fact, have... I'll take it right back from you. <laughs> <laughs> I have gloves down here if you want some. No worries. I feel like some affinity to Sikaflex with the amount of marine sailing channels I use. And then I was like, we're going to just seek out this and seek out that and seek out this. Good. Seems like you need to have it. Mm -hmm. Great. And then just don't go tight with it yet. No. Yeah, gutters. Oh, I'm so happy. We're not above cock and fingering <laughs> on this channel. It's all about. <laughs> well, we could could like label it like the cock master or something. Like that. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> not, no, no. I'm. What too... if you spell it with the C A L K? That's not. That. Yeah, I Mine mean, won't be pulled on YouTube at all. <laughs> fine. I'd rather talk about fingering. To be honest. <laughs> I really love a good slow gym. Are you eating moss? Why are you eating moss dirt? There we go. This is what we're doing tonight. Mm, yeah. And most of these are all local. Yeah, slow gin is a berry. This one's lingon or cranberry, right? And then rose and hibiscus. Yay! So okay. it's like more flavor, more plain, more flavor, more plain, more flavor, more plain. Great. This one is... That one, first one is botanical, so it's gonna be... Oh yeah, and this is the honey one. Okay. And this one is silvery sage. Ooh, but so we've we... got botanical. The Dutch style, I don't know how flavored, it, flavored yeah. it is. I'm assuming it's probably the plainest of all of them. Yeah. And then we have <clears throat> fizzy lime water to cleanse our palate. Perfect. In between. Gin tasty. I love booze. But boy, <laughs> can I not drink it. <laughs> I can drink like this much. We had a couple of glasses of wine the other night. The whole next day, boy, I had a headache. Oh. See, I love booze and I'm a little too good at drinking it. I'm out of practice. Mm. Okay, so this is the wild silvery sage, the silver moon. This is as close as we get to a full moon celebration <laughs> of this gin party. <laughs> Clearly the full moon is making us lose our minds. Oh, it started yesterday. Yeah, it did. Maybe even the day before. Yesterday, with the sun, oh my god, not raining, we're just like, Wah! Yeah, and then I was like, crash. Yeah, it was a big day. Yeah, I, my body really notices the difference if I don't get vitamin D from the sun during the day. Mm -hmm. It's like, I've only got half a charge in my batteries. I'm ready. I love the cork thing. <sighs> I love all of the ones I've Oh, that's just like very like clean smelling mm -hmm. gin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like you should be able to stick your nose in a bottle of gin and not like have it burn. Oh, the things that burn your nose when it's you just a, It's just cheap liquor. Would you like to pour us our first hit? We're just doing like mini drinks, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're not having an ounce of each. Oh gosh, no. Okay. I would I'd be on the floor. You know what I love about soda streams? They don't require any power. More or less. That's good. They don't require power and you don't have to deal with recycling. No, because you always refill the same thing. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> See, I just love this gin. Mm. Mm. That's smooth. Mm -hmm. Monkey 47. Mm. Yeah, I've just come to realize, because I'd only had cheap gin when I was younger and drank it with the purpose of getting drunk, and it was horrible. It doesn't have a tannin in it. Is it? Oh, and also, um, often gin, like when you make martinis, they use vermouth, which is quite bitter and dry, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. This one is a Dutch style gin. Uh, and it says from malted barley, then infused with 20 rare botanicals from wormwood to mugwort, whorehound to blessed thistle. Blessed thistle. That's blessed our thistles. <laughs> <laughs> and wet our whistles. And wet our whistles. You got it today. <laughs> well, I can already like smell so much difference. Mm. It's like the different botanicals that they use in each one is just so beautiful. Ooh. I thought this was the plain this, one. This, <laughs> it's not plain at this all. This one's a lot more like how I imagine gin. Yeah. It's just like a juniper, mm -hmm. like. Gin. Tofino Distillery. I'm really looking forward to this one. Rose Hibiscus Gin. Mm -hmm. mm. Organic. Certified organic. It's bright and strong floral notes blend exceptionally well with a variety of other flavors to make the perfect colorful cocktail. I mean, it's beautiful color. Yeah. What's also really nice is putting just like bits of dried hibiscus in a drink and then they like mm. seep the pigment. I used to have a whole bunch of that in a tea jar, but I kind of used it all up. That is plenty. Thank you. Ding. Oh. <laughs> wow. Good wow. Wow, I'm not telling you until you sip it. What? Mm -hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put more fizzy water in mine, and then I'm gonna give you a reaction. <laughs> Something about the initial sip. Uh huh made me think of being a child and going into a very elderly person's bathroom and everything was either pink or lavender and way too much fuzzy stuff for a bathroom. That is what, <laughs> that is what it conjured. Old person rose. With more water in it, it tastes more hibiscus-y. Yeah, it's very, I think I like it slightly more watered down. Mm -hmm. It was just like very, a lot of flavor. Yeah, like yeah. you don't need much of that to get like a punch in the face by a rose bush. Pow, right in the kisser. Sounds like a bloody good time. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Crafted by hand using wild sage, juniper, and a secret blend of botanicals that shall remain nameless. This gin is inspired by the indigenous silvery sage it is named from, wild mm -hmm. foraged in Naramata and picked fresh just before distillation. Botanical forward with a fresh herbal finish. Try it with your favorite tonic or simply a splash of soda and lime. Or you can put some lime in it. We have plenty of lime juice. Lyrics to the time honored by the light of the silvery moon would gently serenade. You silvery beams will bring love dreams. We'll be cuddling soon. 
and that I want a spoon to my honey, I'll croon love's tune. The sensual prose transformed its most lib libaceous? Lib libidinous <laughs> characters. Ooh. Like libido. Oh, yeah. Lib lib libidinous characters, making them as tempting as the seductively sippable gin. Ooh. Wow. That's quite That's the write-up. That's quite the... Silver Moon, handmade gin with wild silvery sage. Right. We all have our drinks together. Mmm, really good. This is what's great about bringing our collections together is mm -hmm. like, chances are, you won't buy this one, but no. you'll buy this one. Yeah. I like this bottle too. This bottle. I in like the shape. Van, I'm planning to yeah. collect a whole bunch of bottles and maybe put candles in them. This reminds me of like an old medicine bottle. Like I want to make syrup. You could put a hip syrup. flask, hip flask kind of like. Yeah, that's what that's what drew me to this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This one here looks like a kind of a medicine bottle too. Yeah, and I love the label. So, <laughs> say the two of us with our we have matching tail lights out. <laughs> I don't have a rear. Oh, you do. I don't have a oh left. I don't have a left blinker on the Neither back either. I. I mean, if I get pulled over, oh, I had no idea. Thank Don't you for informing me. Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> if I get pulled over, I hope. Maybe we can do this tomorrow. I have two bulbs. I love Ireland mm -hmm. and like the Scottish and Irish heritage that I have, and the accents is part of it. So I'm like itching to go. Like I'd love to go there and listen to mm -hmm. it all and get tickled. I'm sure the Irish and the Newfies would be happy to tickle you. Oh my god. Specific. I'm very specific. <laughs> Normally you shouldn't be driving when the fireplace is going. But Amanda has to go. It's so sad you're going. I know. But you know what? It's sad because we I feel like we didn't get to do enough of all the things we wanted to do, which is like a really good sign of a friendship that we have way more we want to do than we can accomplish together. Mm. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I'll see you again this winter. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Somewhere, somehow. Yes. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, Frank. I miss you already. So, so I'm, so I'm just driving out of my driveway to let Amanda out because we were blocked in, and I made the silly mistake of trying to drive uphill instead of downhill when my engine was cold. It did start, and then I got right across the middle of the road and my engine just died, and now it won't start again. And I'm killing my battery, so I'm trying to give it a bit of a rest and a jump, and I've got some carburetor fluid stuff. So stressful. <sighs> Come on, Andy. Come on. I hate this so much. I'm going to try and roll a little bit further back because I'm still on a wonky angle and I know my engine just needs to be perfectly level to start. And then I'm going to try and Put some of this quick start in because I feel like I'm just killing my battery now. And to top things off, it's raining outside and I don't know what I'm doing. This has happened before when my engine was up and it wouldn't start. We had to spray stuff into the starter, but I had help. And now I'm trying to do it by myself. Oh my god. I did it! I didn't film it because I didn't have hands, but I sprayed some of this. Oh no. That does not sound good. Something has happened to my carburetor, look. So I think this, I don't know why this is loose. I don't know. Okay. I'm just 
just gonna put it all back together before I even try start it because I think this little bolt is what's kind of holding the things together and it should be more than just a little bolt that holds things together in my opinion but I don't know enough last time I put spray in there it did and then it knocked I knocked this and it stopped so hopefully everything is attached that's on tight there's fuel in there Oh, <laughs> 